Okay, we're back. I think this would be part three for the K1 four band module tune up on transmit. And uh, you guys saw probably the parts one and two where we had the false start. Well, we have the RF detector switch in the right place. We have, uh, let's see if you can see that. We have the bypass for the tuner here across the outside two pins with, I'm using a 0.001, but you can use a jumper. Um, the instructions for the KFL1-4 are here, and they tell me that we first need to uh, set our RF detector jumper or set the switch. So now that we've made it through that, I've done that. Then they say complete preparation for transmit alignment steps on page 46 of the owner's manual. So we have that, and it basically is to make sure that you're ready to do the work. So they say uh, turn off the K1, put in the filter board, um, make sure that the receiver is working, that's, that's done. So we will do this step, even though I'm on the station supply. So we're going to switch to voltmeter mode, which I've done here. And uh, that's just holding in display. You can get normal uh, S meter. And again, you get to battery. So there's our 13.5. And uh, then we need to get into menu uh, and set out to, they say, 2.0 watts, so we'll do that. That's set correctly. And there's our voltage again. So now we should be able to follow directions, which is to push the words per minute up and down buttons together to be into tune mode, and that should transmit two watts out. And let's see, I guess you can see pretty well back here. So that should go up to uh, about there. That's two watts. So let's see if that works. So that shows, looks like exactly two watts on the meter. And if I get display mode to normal, that looks pretty good. And the display, uh, pardon me, the voltage didn't sag at all. That was still 13.5. And that hitting of the uh, one button got us out of tune mode, so we won't hang there at two watts. Um, a quick look over here, too. We have the scope turned on and connected to that resistor that we uh, switched in. So I'll go into tune once more. And you can see that we have on the 10 volt scale, 10, 20, what is that, about 31 or 32 volts. And we'll get back out of transmit again. And then we'll take the patented hen summers method here. And let's see, we will get into the scientific mode here by flipping sideways. And we'll do 31 squared divided by 400. And that says 2.4. So maybe slightly higher or maybe my scope probes hard to say but at least we're we're in the neighborhood of um sort of 40 volts peak to peak anyway across 50 ohms and we are hooked into the dummy load so then i think we're on the road to start doing transmit alignments so it says once we have the let's see once we have the voltage sorry for the shaking so we've done the voltage piece then they say turn the K1 off, secure the filter board in. We've got the dummy load connected. We've got the keyer connected. Um, let's see, that's another one. So in the edit mode, we will find input. And this will help you, instead of sync, sending endless DAWs or da uh, dits or dashes, you'll send a solid signal. So input. We edit that, and you can see mine says paddle normal, so we're going to set that to hand so that we can use one part of the paddle just for a continuous transmit, so that should help. So we also have tune mode with that word per minute up and down button, so that'll help. And then, so we've done the tune and set to 2.0 already for the out mode. Then it is band alignment time, finally. So they say because filters are shared between receive and transmitter, we can do this uh, transmit mode setup. So they want to set mid-band, and uh, I guess we are at 7040, 
I think that's kind of mid-band for me since I think this is about a, let's see, we, we can check. I think we have an 80 kilohertz radio here or something like that, 73. So we'll call 7030 or 7040 the favorite spot anyway and not worry about exactly center. And you can see even through the switch and the dummy load on the MFJ 969 tuner, I'm still getting signals on the dummy load switch. So I guess there are some strong signals flowing. We, we have to try here. Well, I guess that is certainly true. Uh, I think there must be a contest going on because the band is completely full of stations. Well, that's kind of cool. All right, so go back to 40 and go back to dummy load. And now I think we can, let's see, on the bottom of the RF board, um, I see this is transmit offset, so I'm not gonna worry about that yet. I think we're ready to go ahead and try the uh, tuning up of the filters. So nicely, sorry, beating you around there. Um, nicely in the K1FL1-4 manual, they tell you exactly which trimmers are which. So it goes back to front, uh, 40 meters, 20 meters. Uh, in our case, let's just see what we have here. So we have 40, 30, 20, and 17 meters. So those are the ones you can see. And it, it isn't completely intuitive because it goes, it doesn't go high to low. So you have to remember to go uh, 40, 30, 20, and then 17 when we, when we hit these trimmers. So we're gonna start on the 40 meter band and we will hit tune here. And then I'll back up so you guys can see the scope, I guess. And then my favorite tune-up tool is this plastic one. I'm not sure who exactly makes it or what it is, but the only metal that it has is a tiny little bit on the tip on each end, so it doesn't mess too much with your tuning. Let's see, we can go up a little bit so you can see what's happening here. Then we're gonna hit tune. I guess we've already hit tune, <laughs> we're sitting. Let me, let me check that. I think it said power was 2.7, so we might want to turn that back down a little bit. Uh, it says 2.0 this time. I guess I can select either 1.9 or 2.1, so either one of those should do. And then we're going to go in the back on the premix filters first. And let's see, I'm going to get a light over here. And then we're going to hit the first one here. And I will give the, the power output transistor a bit of a rest between measurements here. I think we can go up a scale. Yeah, we can. All right, so here's the first peaking. So that was almost spot on, but I gained a tiny bit. So I forgot the name of the fellow who told me he tried my receive method and messed his <laughs> messed his radio up, so I apologize for that. And we're recovering now by doing transmit mode as you suggested, which I guess is true that it used to be you sort of got out the light bulb and you tuned for max transmit and you were good. I gained a little bit on that one as well. So although my, I guess my ear was pretty good on the receive noise, we're gaining just ever so slightly on each of these. So this is definitely the preferred method as opposed to just the rough getting things tuned up. Oh, I gained a lot there. I got to change scales. Okay, so I think that's it. And I, I probably should give that final output transistor a rest, but I'm just going to check a couple more and see if we are, sorry, if we are still peaked and we are. Yeah, I don't think we're gaining at all. So that's that's a final pass through there, and we'll call this one good, I think. So that's the 40-meter band, and we'll stop the transmit. And then uh, just to see, since we're on the dummy load, we'll see if that's hot first. The case is not warm, and neither is the transistor, so that's good. 
So let me try one more tune here. And then we will tune up and see just where she goes. So it goes to about, well, it's going over six watts. So it, it is in a better spot. It goes to 7.1 watts, which I, I'm generally never over about two or three, maybe four or five at the most, but not seven. So we're gonna tune back down to two and we'll do the next band. So I think that might get a little repetitive. I'm gonna go through these um, and then I'll come back once I get them all tuned up and uh, tell you how it went and what the max power out is on each. But I think that gets you through the setup of what it's like to tune up the uh, K1 FL1-4. And uh, I think the most key thing is remember that these are not in order so that you hit one row of all the 40 meter and then the 30 and then the 14s. And I believe I just messed up because it says if you touch up the trimmer settings as ever required, adjust 10 megahertz before 7 megahertz. So uh, scratch that starting on 40, we should have started on 30. So I'm gonna go back and do 30 and then 40. And then for the same reason, uh, we should do 17 meters before we do 20 meters. So I'll do those two steps again, even though 40 is nicely tuned up, that probably messed up 30. So thanks for watching, this is getting long. I'll go tune up 30 and 40 and tell you how that went. So thanks for watching, see ya.